Are you ready to say it? Say, say what? Say anything? You know what. What's that? Tell me what it is. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> By the power of Grayskull, what? I have the power! You were supposed to say it with me. Holy shit, were you He-Man this entire time? Yes. Damn, man. Satan and He-Man. It's going to keep me up at night. Ah! Don't wake him. Don't. Shh. He, he sleeps like... Oh, 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 shit! He's got the hair of an angel. He-Man is awake. He-Man. And the masters of the universe. Welcome, everybody, to Indie Friday here on Rage Select. I am Jeff. I'm Jason. Yeah, Grayskull, motherfucker. Castle Grayskull on your ass. All right, uh, folks, ouch. I don't, I'm not really sure how, yeah, that looks like it would probably hurt. Um, I, I'm not really sure how old this is, but you know what? Last week we talked about this game when we were playing Volgar the Viking, and um, people seem to really be interested in watching us play some He-Man, so we're going to play some motherfucking He-Man. Fuck yeah, son. Hit the, let's see, can you hit the start button? I'm not Something. being She-Ra. There you go. You're not going to be She-Ra? Well, okay, so Orko. here we go. Oh, you got asshole, Orko, He Man, She Ra, Man at Arms, Sorceress. I'll be She Ra. I'll take one for the team. I'll I'll be He Man. Be He Man. Hell yeah, son. All right. By Look the, at that. By the pat. What does She Ra say? For oh. the honor of Grace Oh, oh. Hordak robots in. Fuck it. Shoot them robots, bitch. Get up there, Battle Cat. Oh goddamn. Uh. So yeah. Why do you game? have a lightning Pegasus thing? Because I'm just. Oh, you know, these are jump attacks. Okay. Bam! Okay, great. That was good. <laughs> yes. So this game is completely Beast and totally man. free. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get to do some special attacks here. Uh, eat some, eat it, a uh, weird dick monster. Wait, why do I? Why does it use your sword like a sword, lady? What the hell? <clears throat> why? What? What are you doing? Why is my sword not working? It's just doing this little slap thing. Uh, no, that is that is your basic attack. So oh. if you hit like d two and like, uh, like. Hit in a direction twice, and then hit your button. Then you'll use your sword, or if oh, you use okay. it as like a combo move or something, then you'll use the sword. But <coughs> yeah, I was a little confused. I was like, He-Man, what are you doing? You've got this giant fucking Castle Grayskull sword, the power of Grayskull, and you're just fucking going to punch a bitch? Yeah. You're just going to slap somebody? Wait, what what's it? Oh, is oh it was just some <laughs> was the gimp in there? There's a villager. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Who are these guys? I don't know, but I think these guys are like all goddamn. Are they like all from the cartoons? Are they? Uh, are those like? Uh, is there a DC like villain? It's like the Shadow Man or Shadow Walker or something like that. Uh, probably. <clears throat> what is this? I don't know what that giant hand is, but I don't want to be. Ah, fuck you, yeah, hand! Avoid the hand, dude. This is like, I did not expect this to look all like super like the cartoon and shit. All filmation <laughs> rock. Yeah. Yeah. Like dude, whoever I used to did this. Rush home to watch this. Oh yeah. What is this shit? Oh, that's your uh, health. When you pick it up, you get your health back. So you got health, and then you got lives underneath your health up there. Who are these guys? I don't remember these guys. I don't know. There were a lot of, like, no-name villains in there. Mm -hmm. Get over here, bitch. She in the, in the uh, cartoon. But I would, yeah, I would rush home. And, man, the the lore to He-Man uh -huh. is... It's fucked up? <laughs> like, rich. There's, like fan pages like a he-man wiki and i'm like okay this will take what 10 minutes to no it's no crazy yeah well especially because there's now like what whoa dude dude i just called battle cat for get, some fucking reason i don't get know on him jump on top of battle cat uh, or is I he just he's an npc i guess yeah i guess he's just an npc what horrible oh yeah! there you go get the get the t dick tentacles um what horrible like uh like mockery of fate was it that like Cringer is like he's a saber toothed tiger that's afraid of everything. He's like the cowardly lion and shit. If you just put a red hat on him, suddenly he's, you know, fucking the place up. <laughs> yeah. How did you do that? How did you call Battle Cat? Dude, I, uh, how do I accomplish everything in video games? You jammed on. Okay, I'm going to try jamming on all the buttons. Do it. Jam on the button, Shira. Oh, you got a little high kick there. <laughs> yeah, I did Power Grayskull and called Battle Cat. Uh huh. Oh, well, you man. haven't done the Power Gray Skull yet, isn't there? I, no, I, I did Power Gray Skull, and that's what. Oh, and that called this guy. Yeah. Did Battle Cat. That's not yeah. what happens. That's you what know, I know. I know. But. At least, uh, at least you didn't start the game as Adam, right? And then have to like <laughs> find some dippy power up in order to become yeah. He Man. That pots. Of course, you know. Like, wouldn't you think that immediately when, uh, you know, when Adam takes his shirt off, 
Like everyone's <laughs> like, oh shit, son. shit, it's He-Man. <laughs> yeah. Or I think everybody so is like, so Adam, you have the the ability to turn into a leather daddy <laughs> <laughs> when you have that sword. <laughs> It was there some kind of law that was enacted in the 1980s where all all the uh, the villains of all of these shows had to have real high pitched voices? <laughs> Cobra Commander, yeah. you know, Megatron did not. Megatron, his was his was his high was more but dignified. He was more raspy. I guess Mumra, he didn't have a high voice. Ooh, Mumra, yeah, Lionu. And who was the guy on Silverhawks? It was the oh, I the don't remember. Orange, big like Beast Man, get back here, you asshole! I'm kind of fucked up. Get some of the, get the orange. Oh, hell. Get all the orange. I'm going to let you have all the power-ups. We're not going to bogart any of the power-ups today. Get them all. I probably won't need all of them. Get them all. Okay, let me have this one. There you go. You can have the rest of them. Oh, oh god damn it. Get the orange one. Oh, okay, wait. You got totally green ones Why now. are they green now? I don't know. Okay. Oh, ow. Ow. Just took a boulder to the face. Took an arrow to the face. We're fighting all these chumps. When are they going to make, Where's... like, an open-world... Free range He Man. Oh my like, god. Where you could just run around Eternia. A Skyrim mod. <laughs> yeah. You could have, like, what was the jet that he had called? Uh, the Wind Raider. Yeah. The Wind Rider. Wind Raider. I didn't have that. It pissed me off. I had that. It was awesome. You had all the toys, dick. I had a lot of toys. I had a lot. Shit, goddamn. I had a lot of He Man toys. I yeah. had Snake Mountain. You ass. Snake Mountain was the tits. God damn it, Rock. I think I had the one. What was the one Snake Man that had, like, the. Uh, uh, like he had, you could put. Oh shit! It's those guys. Yep. You could put the uh, the water in him, and then you press down his head like a oh, spout. Um, Snake God damn it. or leech? No. Uh, uh, Cobra no. Con. Yeah, leech had the big suction cup face. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, I need some orange ones too. Who do you think would win in a fight between the Snake Men from He Man and the uh, the Serpentor Snake people from? Oh my God! Holy just, shit! You just picked that fucking boulder up. I just like. Yeah, walked up to what? it or something and, like, rocked it. Goddamn He-Man. Man, He-Man probably <laughs> caused a lot of young men to question their sexuality. You think so? They're like, maybe I need to go to a bar and put on some leather Come and on, dude. We whip were, somebody's ass we while I'm fucking them. <laughs> we were watching He-Man when we were, like, eight years old. I don't think anybody was thinking about going to a dude, bar and fucking no, when they were eight years maybe. old. Maybe. You, uh, you don't okay. I don't so, know. <laughs> so when I was... When I uh, when I was like 19 or whatever, I worked at this music store, and it, 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 there's like a bunch of gay dudes who worked there, right? Right. And uh, uh, I would talk about it's like, oh, you know, I used to walk to this like convenience store and buy my comic books every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And my friend said, or the, one of the coworkers, he said, uh, yeah, I used to walk to a convenience store by my house, a 7-Eleven. Uh -huh. He's like, I was 10 years old, and I would still steal Playgirls. What? And I was like, 10? Oh, yeah. I don't, are you, are, well, I guess I, there was something, I was listening to this stand-up comic talking about 12-year-olds are sexting now or something, and I'm just like, really? Oh, that's fucked. I wasn't, that's, why? I, are, are you guys just so interested in boning now that, like, <laughs> just can't think about anything? Oh, who are these assholes anyway? Yeah, and I don't know, I mean, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I dug girls when I was 12, but. I think I kind of liked He-Man more. <laughs> but, like, you hit him on the playground and then run away. He yeah, kind of, yeah, but, like, well, sending a picture of my dick or something? Right. No. You send a picture of your prepubescent 12-year-old. Plus, come on. a lot of 12-year-olds don't even have the boobs, so it's like, what are you sending me here? Is this, did you send me a picture <laughs> of your brother with his shirt off? I'm wasting my fucking messages here. I only get 100 of these. Okay, we need to stop talking about this because it's just <laughs> talking about 12 year old. I know that I brought it up, but seriously. Yeah, well, where did you think we were going to take it? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't see that one coming from a mile away. Oh, come on. I don't... I don't like the way that they jump away when you kill them. I want to just straight up, like, slit their throats and murder them. <laughs> Are we going to beat this entire game? How long is this game? I may have miscalculated. Does this game take more than 30 minutes to beat? I don't know, but we, we seem to be kind of tearing through it. Ne neither one of us has lost a single life yet. This is great. Can you imagine having this when you were a kid? Oh, God, no. But, you know, that's the that's the terrible thing is that kids these days, they don't give a shit about He-Man. I know. Fucking children, they don't they don't care about He-Man. There he -Man. was that He-Man reboot a couple of years ago. Yep. It was all right. Okay, Beast-Man keeps running away. I'm going to catch that asshole. Let's go fucking get the, get the Beast-Man. Yeah, let's catch Beast-Man. Evil Lynn, though. Ooh, He's a bear. I'll tell you, Evil Lynn, that'll do it for you when you're, when you're an eight-year-old. Evil Lynn, yes, sir. Evil Lynn, between Evil Lynn and, and the Tila? Baroness. 
Now, fuck Tila. What? E Evelyn and the Baroness, man. I was into the bad girls. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but, dude, Scarlet from G.I. Joe. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. Lady J, not so much. She was too busy going to uh, Lilith Fair <laughs> and driving a <laughs> mini truck and wearing Birkenstocks on the weekends. Are you saying that Lady J, and, uh, Lady J is gay? Is that what you're saying? That's what are I'm you, getting are at. Are you insinuating something here, Jason? Uh, when I was watching G.I. Joe, I was like, I like J Lady J, but I don't think she'd be into me. <laughs> I don't think I should. I, I don't think I could sex Lady J and have it be successful. What about Jinx? Jinx? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Jinx would probably pull some like. Jinx has some low self-esteem issues. Like in the show. There you go. Like in the movie, you know, when she tries. To, what, who is she training with? It's like, is it Sergeant Slaughter? Who is it? Yeah, it's Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughter movie man. Who's trying to train her, and he beats her up. Battle Cat, get your ass over no, here. It isn't Sergeant Slaughter, is it? Where did he go? How do, How do you keep calling Battle Cat? I don't know. How do I get on Battle Cat? Jump on top of him. I was trying. He's just, he's fucking shit up. He's got his own agenda. Whoa. Yeah. I think Battle Cat just friendly fired me. I think you need to go put that motherfucker down. What? Take him to the vet, man. He's out of control. Hey, what? He's Let a me... dangerous creature. There you there go. There we go. Oh, shit. God damn it. Dun, 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 dun. Why don't they have all the music going the entire time? I know. Because it would probably drive you insane. Oh, hell no. Ugh. Dude, that music is already insidious enough as it is. Yep. I love it. There's just the laser out here. Well, yeah, there's a laser out here on this glacier. <laughs> you know, it's an art installation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's you. Get that. Get the jewel. I can't believe we haven't lost a single life so far. Like boulders and Skeletor and giant hands. Watch out for the hand. It's being a dick. Yep. Don't don't be a dick hand. Don't be a dick hand. Oh, I think it hit me. I think uh, it didn't do much damage. Oh god damn it. Oh yeah, it really didn't do shit for damage. It's after you now. Whose hand is that supposed to be? It's the. It's, the, it's the, like a Monty Python thing. The fist of destiny. See, this is all about the gay innuendo with the leather bars. Uh huh. There's He Man. You got Beast Man. You got yep. a, a giant fist. Yep. Trap Jaw's got all those attachments. <laughs> you know. No, not Trap Jaw. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. nobody this, ever, one, this one is set to tickle. Nobody ever wants to go home with Trap Jaw. He's very sad. That's yeah. why he's so. Like, he got that, that iron jaw installed, and now no women want to hang out with him. He's just like, why, baby? I uh, Like, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. You know? He's like, like, I got the rabbit attachment now. I don't want. And they're just like, I don't want to make out with your giant monster <laughs> clamp face. <laughs> you got saw face. He's like, come on, let me eat at the Y. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> you uh, bit off my vagina. Bit off my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to put that on a shirt. Bit off my lady baloney. Uh, I'm going to put that on a shirt and then sell it. <laughs> Just that I know there's one person in this world walking around a t-shirt that says, you bit off my lady baloney. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and everybody's just like, what does that even mean, man? What are you even doing here? What is that? <laughs> What's your problem, dude? Uh, God damn it. I want to call I want to call the She-Ra horse in. Sky lady. Yeah, you're clearly not button mashing enough. I'm trying, but it up, up. Okay, up, up, dude. I want to see. Up, I want to see up. a cat video. I want to see somebody do a series of cat a videos. Fireball with a cat painted like Battle Cat. Oh yeah, yeah. People make their dogs look like Wookies and shit all the time. Why yeah. Not Battle Cat. He man just don't get the love. Battle Cat's like the ultimate pop culture feline. Rah! Battle Cat versus Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Battle Cat. Yeah. I'm gonna draw that tonight before there this shit is. goes up on the internet. Holy fuck! That would make Battle Cat. Oh god damn it. Can you help me with this hand instead of just jumping back and forth the entire time? I'm trying to avoid said hand. You you would do well to do the same. I think that one of her attacks was just me and that, the monster dude in the crotch like a bunch of times. <laughs> that yeah. was not cool. she -ra. You know He-Man's just like, God, my cousin. I would hit that <laughs> if I weren't a leather daddy. <laughs> I would hit that if I was into women. All right, yeah. so should we just go down the list? Like, all right, Jason, you're obviously the the the, uh, the expert here. Sex, we're gonna go with sexual orientation of everybody on He-Man. Yep. All right, let's start with Man at Arms. I've always been curious. Yeah, okay. look at the mustache. Uh, Skeletor. Skeletor. Uh, straight. Uh -huh. No. S straight. Bone curious. Bone curious. <laughs> he's he's curious and he's repressed. That's why he's so angry. Okay. 
All right. Uh, yep. Who else is on the on the good guy side? Uh, the good guys. Uh, Orko. Orko. Totally gay. He's a magician. Okay. All, are you saying that all magicians are gay? Dude, there are a is that lot what you're saying? of gay magicians. There's a lot of gay magicians. A lot <laughs> of gay magicians. <laughs> I saw that Burt Wonderstone movie, all right? There are a ton of gay magicians. Okay. Orko. And it's not even so just being gay. Yeah. It's that so much of this is like clearly, I mean, look at him. Yeah. This is... You show up dressed as He-Man to a leather bar, you are going to be the belle of the ball. He's got his Uggs and his fucking, like, yeah. Speedo, his, his uh, uh, that's cl uh, fucking, what am I trying to say? Fur Speedo, Fur Speedo. <laughs> right. So I was trying to put that together. Um, what the fuck? Is this just the irritating asshole level? Oh, shit. So this now we're going to lose our lives on the fucking, on, on this level. On this level. Fuck you guys. I'm running to the end. I don't even know what those things on the ground are, but I'm not stepping on them. Oh, God! Fucking shit, man. They're landmines. Well, fuck a bunch of that. I'm about to die. Uh, you got three lives. It's fine. I oh, died. Ow. Yeah, I got two lives. Ow. Come on, man. We just got to get through this shit. I think we're... It looks like Snake Mountain's coming God, up, man. This is like the... Uh, this is like the Vietnam of Eternia. Uh, who else is good guys? Let's well, see. Manny uh, Faces. He was... Uh, sometimes a good guy. Manny Faces. Manny, fa uh, Manny Faces goes both ways, He right? was an actor. Probably oh. gay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Roboto. Roboto? Yeah. Depends on where the switch was flipped. Okay. <laughs> Stink Did you see that shit? Faker. Fakor. Fakor? Yeah. Uh, he robot of He-Man? Right. He's yeah. better at being straight, faking at being straight than He-Man. Okay. So he's the opposite of He-Man, so he was he was straight. What about um, that? Uh, yes. What about that bee dude? No, the bee dude. Yeah, uh, Bezo or whatever his name is, Jeff uh, Bezos. Look at him, dude. <laughs> okay, probably gay. Um, uh, let's see. And I'm not. I don't. Whatever, man. I don't care. Stinkor. Stinkor. Yeah. Totally straight. <laughs> Stinkor is the one straight one in this. Totally lip. straight. Hordak. Hordak straight. Okay. Shira. Hordak just wanted a piece of Shira. Uh, okay. Shira straight, but so militantly. Uh, women's rights that uh -huh. it, she might as well have been gay because every dude is just like I can't handle this shit anymore you want to prove how tough you are by wrestling me okay, okay. <laughs> honor of gray skull fuck off I get it you're, beast you're tough what about beast man beast, he's, dude, he's a total bear okay total bear uh triclops Triclops, uh, he's, he's probably straight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Triclops is the one. <laughs> yeah. See, with Triclops, you never know. Uh -huh. He always used that to stare at women's tits because you got like three eyes going three different directions. Uh, so he's just he's he's like, looking you don't know what I'm looking at. That's right. And you're like, maybe I was looking at your boobs. You, you, you don't know. What about uh, Evil Lynn? Evil Lynn? Yeah. Oh, dude, she's dude, she's freaky bi. Okay, freaky yeah. bi. Freak in the sheets. Uh, finally, some health. God damn. What? Dude, is the Hulk up there? Oh, ow. Yeah, Evil Lynn's just like, I'll come over to Grace Skull and oh, shit. rock your world, and I'll bring some friends, too. Uh -huh. But then you, you never know if it's going to be Beast Man right. or, or Were some... there any other ladies in the bad guys? I mean, was it uh, just Evil Lynn? The bad guys? You know, there probably were later, but I don't really remember any. Okay. Uh, <sighs> he man had such imaginative toys. I and mean, that shit was like, you know. Yeah. Everyone had Ram Man. What's Ram Man? Ram Man? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Ram Man is complicated, you guys. He's, he doesn't, yeah. He doesn't adhere he's to gender about, stereotypes. He's, he he is a power top. He's trying to fit that that crazy uh, he, Ram. He has head. sent some bottoms to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Because I don't think he, we should be having this conversation. He doesn't just <laughs> ram with his head. Oh no! <sighs> what was that guy? Was he a good guy that had like a giant? Like metal fist. Yep, dude. Do you even have to ask? <laughs> okay. So his name was Fisto, man. <laughs> Fisto. Oh well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what you're saying is that all of the like Republicans these days who are real pissed off about corrupting our youth, that we don't have to really worry about our youth being corrupted because if anything was going to do he it, man. it was He Man and his completely pro pro gay agenda. Yeah, that was going on the entire time. Which awesome. Yeah. yeah. Rock on, He Man. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Fly that Eternian freak flag. But, uh, yeah, Fisto. Oh, here's, here's the thing about uh, uh, something on He-Man. You know the uh, the slime pit? Uh-huh. Wait, which slime pit? Remember that? No, it was it was like a, it was one of the evil hordes things, I think, or maybe it was Skeletor, okay. where it was like this claw, uh -huh. this like altar thing, and it would hold guys down with a claw, and then this like giant dinosaur skeleton head would like vomit slime. I, I'm not getting any of this. I'm not remembering any of this. It, I had it, and uh. it was 
fucking cool. Did it have that horrible but, slime that we all had when we were kids? Yeah, like the, that's the one. The Ghostbusters the slime it was or whatever? Same thing. Okay, yeah. all right. It, this was green, though. So this was basically how to ruin your action figures. You get to do this once. Oh, no, no. These, the... these were... I did it, and it was fine. It, oh, it, really? Yeah, it came okay. off really easily. But... The thing is, what? that was not a punishment to the He-Man characters. Uh -huh. That was <laughs> that was the reward. That was Friday night. <laughs> Friday night in Eternia. Yeah, it was like so the, wait, the fucking Bukaki pit. Let me ask you a question. We know He-Man's sexual orientation. What about Prince Adams? Prince Adam? Yeah, dude, that's his. That's his his work attire. Uh huh. That they don't. The re, his parents don't see him dressed up like this. They're like, they cut him off from his inheritance, and he would never. Be king. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I see. That's I like why. It. That's why it's a secret identity. You're writing this really strange like backstory. You've been on that He-Man wiki for too long. You're writing like the secret homophobic backstory or the you know the gender politics of Eternia were very complex. Yeah, dude. And there hadn't been any. Oh shit! I need some of that health now. Are we? I mean, are we really good at video games? Or are we really good at video games? It's, whoa! Did you see that? Not one of those. It's what? Look at that shit. Boosh! It sparkles up in the air. Bam! That was awesome. Uh, bam! Look at that. So yep. if you could, if you had to, uh, that, that was up, up, attack, dude. Which one? It was do up, up, attack. Okay, I did it. It's not working for you. I did up, up, attack, up, that's, up, attack, up, up, attack. That's, that's oh, oh shit, shit son! That's it's that a guy. Dragon. Gr Grandamir. Oh, shit. Wait, he's got a name? Yeah. Is he Beastman's friend? No, that's not Granamir. Never mind. Granamir's way bigger. That, that looks like fucking... Him. Dude, what about Beastman? He's totally here. Just whooping up on our asses. Fucker. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, shit, son. Oh, fuck. You lost you've a life. Got, you've got four lives. I got three now. Finally got killed by fucking dickweed dragon man over here. Dragor or whatever his name is. Drag queen. <clears throat> I like the way that everything in this game is like based on the TV show, except that like it just says dragon. Yeah, no, Woo! Granamir was a big dragon from the TV show. I finally saw the desolation of Smaug, speaking of dragons. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, I got bored halfway through and started playing Dark Souls. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Oh, what? no. To be continued. Is that it? What? Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh man, is that it? How much time? What do, are we done? Is it? Which <laughs> not much. We got like twenty-two minutes. Okay, we so we got like it's ten it? minutes left. Yeah. Should we play it again? No. Should we play? <laughs> should we play something else? How should we? Wait, what happened here? I don't know. We beat the whole entire thing in twenty-two minutes. I don't want to leave these people just hanging. Uh, that was lame. Why don't we just? Why don't we play? Why don't we play a little bit more and keep talking? Just play it again. Yeah, why not? Boring. Okay. Somebody else. Oh right. Somebody else. Oh yeah, we can do that. I'll play as the sorceress this time. I'll play as or Orco. You just play as Orco. Wow, we've got the real dream team going on here. Yeah. <laughs> the sorceress and Orco. <laughs> oh shit! She's just a bird in this one, and Orco is a fucking. Magic missile, okay. motherfucker. I think that we're somebody's saving a bunch of screenshots from this game. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, why are we? Why do we care? And those boulders suck. Yeah, they do. I can't believe this game just stopped. I, I was right in the middle of getting like all of my answers to He-Man totally answered. Come on, Sorceress, what's your special move? That? That's blame. Sorceress sucks. Should have been Man at Arms. Did the sorceress ever actually do anything in uh, in uh Man? She sat around and, like, gave cryptic advice and yeah. pretended to help, but didn't really help. She's like Lion O's ghost dad, right? It's kind of the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, she was the Obi-Wan type character. God damn it. I was going to what's... Um, I was going to ask if you could only have He-Man or G.I. Joe, which one would you... You have to eliminate one from oh, all of human that's history. that's tough. Uh, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe stays? G.I. Oh, Joe stays. What the fuck? You could just float over the mines? Yeah, because I don't. I, I float. Man, Orko, you suck. Oh, shit. I can turn into a bird. What? <laughs> oh, this is. That's what happened. Okay, so apparently. And shoot arrows? She ra didn't have the, like, up, up a, a thing. Oh, she didn't? That's what. This is what happens when you hit up, up with the sorceress is you turn it. Try it with Orko. Does he have an up, up thing? No. Try a, a forward fireball and then attack. Yeah, it does the little dagger thing. A dagger? Yeah. Since when does Orko have a fucking dagger? I know. He's going to shank a bitch? <laughs> Orko's <laughs> going to shank a bitch. <laughs> I don't or know. Orko did time, dude. 
Did he? Yeah. He's got like gang tattoos on his body. Is that that's why, why he wears the That's why he never shows rug. anyone. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to see all the tears tattooed on his face. <laughs> his face is nothing but tears. He was hard. Yep. Up, up. Oh, two. Oh, man. That sucks. I can't believe that I spent the entire game oh, wait, playing what somebody is... who doesn't turn into stuff. And my jump still jumps and makes a cute little noise. <laughs> I'm Orko. So, you know what I would love is I would love to see like some kind of celebrity deathmatch thing where you put like Orko and Snarf into like the <laughs> yeah. battle royale and like only one will Thunderdome. I want him to be in like, Thunderdome. Gleek from uh, Wonder Twins. Yep. And, oh. and then Monkey. Yes. And Uni from yeah. Dungeons and yep. Dragons. Yep. All of the most irritating. Let's see. Was there one in? Uh, uh, where's some other? Oh, you know what? There was that asshole in Silverhawks that would only whistle. You were the the bronze one. No, like I only I only saw Silverhawks like a couple of times. How did you miss out on Silverhawks? I just never got into it. I don't know. Okay, that was a that was a cool show. They, their ship was driven by a fucking country western robot man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who had a guitar and he would sing like country western songs. Oh, and that's drive awesome. Their ship around. That's my kind of crazy. I remember when I was a kid, like Silverhawks. It took them forever to get a toy line for Silverhawks. So there was a long time where, like, I loved the show, but there was no, there was no toy to be purchased. It was just like, God damn it! I remember the first time they put out X Men toys, and I was just like, Fucking finally! Oh my god, dude, that blew my goddamn mind. I've been reading X Men for so long, I could finally buy a crappy Wolverine toy with little plastic claws that go snicked out of his arm. Man, this whoa! Okay, Sorceress is OP, y'all. Sorceress needs to be nerfed because. <laughs> That shit seriously messed Dude, up. Dude, when I first saw X Men toys, mm -hmm. just boner. <laughs> Serious? Just, just toy like boner. hardcore toy boner. Do you guys know what a toy boner is? And th now, I've still got some of the original ones. Yeah. They're so shitty now. Oh, yeah. Dude, I remember, and I think I might have talked about it on the show before, but I remember back when I was a kid, there was one Christmas where they had the Voltron, where you had like figures, like plastic figures of all the Voltron characters that were about as tall as a G.I. Joe guy. Yeah. And then plastic lions that they could go into that were actually the size that they could go into them. And then those plastic lions formed together to make Voltron, and it was a huge toy. Yeah, I had I had the yellow one, but that's all I had. It was like one of the feet. Oh, man. Yeah. Hunk. That was the guy's name. Okay, that's lame. He was, uh, uh, he was the fat guy because, you know, he had the fat one, the nerdy one. The girl. Yeah, I didn't have any of the figures. Guy. I just had the 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 Voltron piece. Just the lion? Yeah, I don't think it came with a figure. I could be wrong. Wait, did it have a, a cockpit on it to put a figure into? Yeah, oh, but you didn't get the figure. Yeah. How is it you had like every He-Man toy ever created, but you only got one of the Voltron? Lions? I don't know. I don't know, man. It was. Uh, they were like a uh, Lion Voltron or uh, or Car Voltron. Oh, Lion Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. Car Voltron's got his place, but. Uh, yeah. When, ah. I a, when I was a kid, I literally would have murdered another child if they had made Mighty Orbots toys. <laughs> I would have just, I would have straight up shanked a kid on the playground to get some Mighty Orbots toys. Man, did you ever get a GoBot and just be like, oh shit, well that that's it, I, I must be adopted. That's their way of telling me. They gave me a GoBot instead of like an Optimus Prime. Well, no, but see, the thing is that I had a bunch of GoBots because I I got them when there were GoBots but no Transformers. Oh, yeah, that's like, right. Because there was a time when there were only crappy <laughs> GoBots, and then Transformers came out, and it was just like, I remember the first time, the first Transformers I, toy I ever got was one of the planes. And the th what it took to transform that thing as opposed to, like, Leader One was, it was like, what am I, fucking calculus here? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, apparently, like, Hasbro, whoever owns Transformers, uh -huh. are making Transformers easier to transform. I saw that. Fuck a bunch of that. That is that is dick. That is garbage. Yeah. Now a kid has to just, like, chew on it or something, and it turns just into a hit robot. hit a button and all spring loads. Yeah. Because, you know what? Half the fun of having Transformers toys was, was figuring it out. Well, not that. was having to, when you're playing, you know, with the with your other your friends or your co siblings or whatever, and you're transforming the Transformer. And you, you had to make the noise. And you had to make the noise for, like, 20 minutes while you were transforming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you're just like, oh, my God, this one takes so long to transform. Hold on. <laughs> the first Transformer I ever got was Ironhide. Uh-huh. I was like, God damn it, Iron really? A little late. It's a van. Yeah. Uh, what about, uh, who is the bad guy in the GoBots? The Psykill. Psykill, that's right. He's a crazy evil motorcycle. Yep. But none of it was as good. Like, some of the crazy obscure stuff that nobody remembers, like Mask. Love Mask. Dude, I had Boulder Hill. You, you were such a, 
I hate your childhood. <laughs> like, you're the kid that I had to be friends with you because I wanted to come over to your house and play with the, you had all the fucking good toys. I had Matt Tracker's... Uh, uh, his, his like Trans like Am, the flying yeah. Trans Am, and then and the uh, the Rhino, the the fucking eighteen wheeler with the battering ram on yep. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had uh, the best one was Miles the... Miles. What is his name's uh, jet slash? That was the best one. Helicopter. That was the best mass toy. That was it. Was pretty bad. A jet that turns into helicopter. It was literally viable in any childhood situation. For I'm gonna set up all these dudes and then blow them up. Yeah. Like, do you need a helicopter? We got you covered. Is that too too slow? Well, then we got a jet. No, okay. you know what the best mass toy was? What's that? Boulder Hill. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. It was rap. Ma 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 mask mask. Yeah. And then uh, I was thinking when we did that Volgar, we were talking all about Saturday morning cartoons. Cops is one that gets looked over Cops, a lot. dude. Fighting yes. Fighting crime in a future time. Yeah. Visionaries. Vision yeah, visionaries. Yeah, I remember visionaries. Anymore. Centurions. Power Extreme. That's right. No, that was in humanoids. No, it was that was Centurions. Centurions. Man, yeah. man, machine, yeah. So uh, in humanoids, it's some of the most grotesque figures of all <laughs> no. time. It's like, wow, this one is an elder god. That's okay. right. Uh, yeah. Cartoons used to be fucking weird. All right, is that it? Uh, we got about a minute and a half. Okay. Well, cartoons used to be like advertisements for toys, though. Really. You know, you remember there was used to be there was like legislature, right? You couldn't do that shit. Yeah. And then like Transformers changed all that. Because they like what did it? They made the show first, and then they made the toys. I don't know. So there wasn't like blatant advertising. I remember reading an article one time about how when Transformers was originally made, they were like, "You can't do that. You can't just use this as a vehicle to sell shit to kids." That's think, what we wanted, though. I think that legislation was every parent's worst nightmare, and then it came true. Like, are you telling me that you're gonna build up this rich backstory? Just to make my kid like want more and more and more of this shit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, and it worked. It totally did. Hey, well, thank you for tuning into Indie Friday. Yes, indeed, uh, we played through an entire game. Yeah, bam, almost. Uh, well, one and a half times. Yep. Check us out on RageSelect.com. That's where we're at. If you really like what you see, you can subscribe to us via Patreon, where you get special videos that nobody else gets to see. In fact, we're thinking about adding some new stuff to that. But yep, still it's just a question that. of making it happen. Yep. Um, and we've uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but if you go to RageSelect.com, these videos go up a day early. Yep. Like us, subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, whitelist is on your ad blockers if you're watching on uh, RageSelect.com. Yep. There will not be an Amazon link for this, but if you go to another game, you'll totally be able to find an Amazon link to buy it. Uh, you can Because this shit's free, y'all. Like, go download it and play it, because this shit is 100% free. It's free. It's like 20 minutes of game. Yeah, but it's a, it's a pretty good 20 minutes. It is. I gotta tell you, it's a pretty good 20 minutes. It looks way better than I thought. Yeah. This blows the this blows some indie games I paid like twenty dollars for out of the water to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, go check us. Get Amazon uh, if uh, you want to buy anything through Amazon. If you do it through us, you get a little chunk of that. It is awesome. Uh, so tomorrow we'll be back with another episode of Sequential Saturday. More Adventures of Bullet Storm. So we'll see you guys then. God damn, man. I'm in like nostalgia overdrive right now. Yeah. I feel like I need to like put on some Jason the Wheeled Warriors and <laughs> get out my Gremlins lunchbox. And a hyper color t shirt. Like did we accidentally slip into the hot tub time machine? Are we back in time now? Is it the eighties? Let's put I'm... on some Motley crew and find out. Wait, what's that gonna tell us? He's the one they call Dr. Feel Good. He's the one that makes you feel all right. He's the one they call Dr. Feel Good. He's, He's going to be, be your Frankenstein. Frankenstein. God, I love the 80s. <laughs>